Hey, hey, in this video, I'll be showing you how you can save for web your digital painting for faster upload and download while keeping high crisp quality. These days, we are bombarded with imagery from any and every possible devices every day. And nobody is waiting for an image to load no more. If it takes too much time, we just click away. So it's very important for our images, especially the images from our portfolio to load fast. Here's how to make sure you upload the highest quality while keeping the size of your images as low as possible. Step one, we wanna make sure to have an image that's gonna be high quality, so we need to save for web, making sure that we have high quality and a low size at the same time. In Photoshop, we have a special place for that. You need to go over File, over Export, and you're going to have the Save for Web legacy. Now, if you do not work with the Photoshop CC, the current version that we have, or the highest version, you might have it under the Save As someplace here. And if you're working with any other software than Photoshop, you just have to find something that's equivalent to a Save for Web. I'm pretty sure that each software will have something like that. Once you click on it, it's going to open the panel Save for Web. Step two. We want to make sure that we have a size that it's not an overkill. Right now, my image is way too big, as you can see. I have almost 4,000 pixels wide. I figured out that for a good image on the web, anything between 800 and 2,000 is going to be good enough. Now, 2,000 would be something that it's very high quality with a lot of details, and 800, in my case, is the size of the image that I put on my website. So for me, this is perfect. So I'm going to change the size to something as 800 pixel wide, I'm gonna press OK. Now I have my image, it's already smaller. All right, this is bringing us to step three. For step three, we wanna make sure that the size in terms of weight of the image is uh, the, the fastest we can get, basically the lowest we can get. And for that, I'm gonna walk you through a little bit to the Save for Web panel. If you go at the top left, you're gonna have a few tabs. The first one is the original image, the second one is the optimize, and the second two ones, the two ops and the four ops, are showing you different version of the image with the original. I like to use the two up as it gives me the possibility to see the original and the one I'm working on. So this is perfect for me. Then you have the hand tool right here that if you click, you'll be able to move, especially if you zoom in, you'll be able to move your image. You'll have the zoom tool to zoom in and zoom out. By pressing alt, you'll be able to zoom out. Uh, but if you do the command control plus or minus, you'll be able to do the same thing as well. And if you have at the right here, you have all the settings to play with the quality of the image. Now, before we start that, uh, I'm going to say here, I want to show you the size of the image. So the original image is three megs for now, uh, for my original. And the one that I'm doing right now that I'm working on right now that I want to make sure that it's the smallest is at 600 K. A good size for an image is anything between 1 meg and 100k. As low as you can get without losing too much quality, that's the best. That's the goal that we want to. 1 meg is really the maximum you should have your image. Uh, anything lower than that is going to load super fast. So that's what we want to try to do. And to do so, uh, we have to play with this here. Making sure that A, we are on JPEGs. There's a different uh, different way to uh, to save your image here, but the one we want right now is JPEG. And this is gonna be perfect for any portfolio that you have. Then you have the quality. That can go from low to maximum, and you have more control over here. You can go simply by sliding that. You can go over 67, which is go high. Usually I don't bother with this. I just go between low and maximum. That's actually much, uh, much faster for me. And each of them will make sure that the size of the image gets lower. So if I go to low, the size go as 34K. And if I go to maximum, it goes at 600. But what's the best? How do I know? Well, for that, you need to zoom in your image. So I'm going to zoom in my image quite a bit until it's almost pixelized, basically. Something like this. And whoops. And what I'm going to do now is change the different quality. So right now I'm on maximum. I'm going to go to low. And you can see the huge difference here. It comes way too pixelized. So if I go to maximum and I start just going down one by one, very high, you don't see much of a difference. High, you see a little bit of a difference, but not too much. Medium, you start seeing squares. 
So I know that for me, high would be actually really good and I'll see a good quality. And with high, the size of the image is 141K. Uh, and that's perfect. That's very, very fast. So if I were to save this image, that would be a crisp image, high quality, but I would load very, very fast. And that's my goal. And that's it. With all that, you'll have an image that is high quality, crisp, and that's going to load, load super fast on your portfolio. And that's it for this video, guys. I hope you liked it. Let me know in the comment, what is your best platform for your online portfolio? Is it uh, Behance? Is it DeviantArt? Whatever what it is, please let me know. I would like to know uh, what is uh, the place you prefer to put your images online. And as usual, click on the subscribe button if you don't want to miss any of the videos. I'll be doing videos like this every week. Uh, so yeah, have a good day, guys. And as usual, happy painting.